platform, what it is meant for, it should be opened up to also cater for more other, uh, other things apart from security or education and sport. And even what is allocated for sports is even not enough because we have enough talent out there waiting to be exploited. And we know very well that through CDF, we will be able to make sure that this actually happens. Mr. Speaker, sir, I want this House to push for immediate release of CDF so that work in the constituencies can continue immediately. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Thank you, Honorable Odewar. Honorable Wangwe. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, allow me also to add my voice on this uh, motion, and uh, especially the motion coming at a time when we are doing pre-debate on this issue of NGCDF. Honorable Speaker, I happen to have been here in 2015 and saw the transition from the old CDF Act to the new NGCDF. Honorable Speaker, having seen that transition, I wish to make, and also having seen, Honorable Speaker, last parliament, what we went through in terms of the BBI, I would wish, Honorable Speaker, to make this input into this motion so that the Honorable Mule and Honorable Kishimo can take cognizance of these issues and make amendments before publication so that, Honorable Speaker, we can have a very good document to save our very good fund. Honorable Speaker, my concern is, once the bill is published, we will not be able to amend even a comma. There being the, that being the case, Honorable Speaker, I wish to request that, Honorable Speaker, the four funds which are being proposed in this bill should go in individually, let them run individually, Honorable Speaker, so that, Honorable Speaker, should a ruling of fate befall any of the bills, let any of the bills, Honorable Speaker, let it be an issue of exclusivity, exclusiveness, rather than, Honorable Speaker, the whole baby being here alive. Honorable Speaker, that coming from the, what happened with the BBI, whereby, Honorable Speaker, a few clauses made us lose the entire uh, document. That, Honorable Speaker, should not be the case. CDF being the backup, Honorable Speaker, of devolution. We build devolution after CDF, Honorable Speaker. And when you go to the ground and walk around my constituents, for example, Honorable Speaker, last weekend I had the privilege of giving out a, a very nice school bus to one of the schools in my constituents, Honorable Speaker. The enthusiasm, the happiness, the joy that was the students and teachers is enormous. And Honorable Speaker, if you kill the CDF as, as it is today, it will be a very big blow to the administration of the day, and we don't want an administration of Honorable Speaker to suffer fate which is not theirs. We are happy the President has really uh, thrown the weight behind the bill and is suggesting that we have a, a very good bill so that we have a good document to support the governance of his administration. Honorable Speaker, CDF is what is visible across the country. Wherever you go, is it a bridge? Is it an, a, a rough road? Is it Honorable Speaker a school? It's all built by CDF. When you look around and see what the counties have done, yes, they've tried. They've done it well, but they've not done it to the level of CDF. It is my prayer, Honorable Speaker, that we really put down a document that is going to support and make it for posterity, Honorable Speaker. On the issue of the Economic Stimulus Fund, Honorable Speaker, it is my wish and my prayer that we exclude it from the main document, Honorable Speaker. The PFM Act is, is alive. It gives the CS National Treasury powers to create a fund, to operationalize a fund of such a magnitude, Honorable Speaker. It is important that we allow the PFM Act to, to prevail. We allow the CS National Treasury to do that function rather than anchoring that function into the Constitution, Honorable Speaker. Otherwise, the three, the three uh, funds, Honorable Speaker, whereas they are good, I would wish that we separate the documents, let them run separately rather than being in one document. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, and I wish to support. The Honorable... The Honorable Joseph Samal. The Honorable Joseph Samal. Is he in the house? 
Well, Mr. Speaker, I'd 